In our life, there are numerous enemies. Big and small difficulties endlessly come. Due to these difficulties, we live by feeling worries, anxiety, and fear. Then, What do we need to do in order to not be entangled in various problems and live a victorious life? Today's scripture shows us what we can do to live a victorious life. Israel and Aram had a hostile relationship. Whenever Aram carried out attacks, the king of Israel defended from their attacks by sending armies. So the king of Aram was always defeated. The king of Aram, who was angry because he lost in war every time, shouted, there must be a spy among us. At that time, his servant came and reported that the cause of their defeat in war was Elisha. 2 Kings 6.12 says, None of us, my lord the king, but Elisha the prophet who is in Israel tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your bedroom. The king of Aram found out that he was defeated in war because of Elisha. He commanded to capture Elisha immediately. Right when he was reported that Elisha is in Dothan, he mobilized an entire army, surrounded Dothan all night long, and waited until the morning to carry out an all-out attack. The servant of Elisha got up early in the morning, stretched and yawned. The servant saw the army of Aram and was shocked. So he ran to Elisha and reported, Oh Lord, something big has happened. The army of Aram is surrounding the city. We are going to die. Because he looked at reality that is visible, he was in fear. Today, There are numerous enemies in our life. The devil endlessly attacks us along with the servants, demons. 1 Peter 5 8 says, Be self controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. The devil brings problems every day and shoots the arrows of fire called worries, anxiety, restlessness, and despair. When people are attacked by the devil, most of them are in fear. This is because, just like the servant of Elisha, they only look at reality that is visible. The servant of Elisha shook in fear, but even when prophet Elisha was reported that he is surrounded by enemy forces, he didn't lose boldness and peace in his heart. Elisha didn't look at his reality with the eyes of flesh. With spiritual eyes, he saw that God is with him. As we live our lives on this earth, if we look at things with the eyes of flesh, we will be anxious, be discouraged, and fall in despair. While living our life, there are many upsetting and frustrating events. Those who nurture children are frustrated because of their children. Those who... run businesses are frustrated because of economic recession. 
students are frustrated because it is difficult to get jobs. Workers are frustrated because they don't know when they will get fired. If we look at things with spiritual eyes, we know that God is protecting us. Psalm 91.11 says, For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Even today, God is protecting us by sending His angels. Therefore, no matter what kind of situations we face, we shouldn't be discouraged and look to God who loves us and is always with us. There is something that we must clearly know. We must clearly know that the grace of the cross is surrounding us. The devil attacks us by sending the army of wickedness. The whole world is filled with sins. So the things that we see are sins and the things that we hear are sins. The wave of sins is coming every day. However, because the grace of the cross surrounds us, no power of sin can swallow us. If we look at things by opening our spiritual eyes, we know that the precious blood of Jesus surrounds us and protects us. The devil attacks us by sending the army of filthiness and greed. While we live our lives in this world, the devil tempts us every day with the cravings of sinful men, the lust of his eyes, and the boasting of what he has and does. But because the grace of the cross surrounds us, we can conquer filthiness and are able to live a holy and clean life. The Holy Spirit in us is freeing us from the law of sin and death. The Holy Spirit is helping us to conquer filthiness of this world with His holy power. The devil attacks us by sending the army of diseases. Today, many kinds of diseases are stealing and killing and destroying people. However, because the grace of the cross surrounds us, we can drive out all diseases with the name of Jesus. 1 Peter 2.24 says, He Himself bore our sins in His body on the tree so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By His wounds, you have been healed. By relying on the cross of Jesus, we can conquer every disease and enjoy health. The devil attacks us by sending the army of poverty and curses. There are those who lose jobs and fail their businesses in this world. And there are those who commit suicide because it is difficult to live. But because the grace of the cross surrounds us, we can conquer poverty and curses with the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though He was rich, yet for your sakes He became poor, so that you through His poverty might become rich. If you look to the cross, every curse will leave, and the blessings of God will come in our life. The devil attacks us by sending the army of death. All people die. Young people can die and old people can die. Ultimately, all human beings die. People think and fear that all 
people die and that everything will be over when death comes. But because the grace of the cross surrounds us, we can conquer the power of death and enjoy resurrection and eternal heaven. The worldly people are bound by death and live their lives as slaves. But those who believe in Jesus don't fear death. Because they look at resurrection, eternal life, and heaven with spiritual eyes, death cannot exercise strength. Therefore, with spiritual eyes, we must look at the grace of the cross that is surrounding us. If we look at things with spiritual eyes, we can see that God is always with us. When I was first building the church in Yeoido, I was in an extremely desperate situation. When it rained, steel frames became rusty and they had to be taken down. I had a lot of debt and had no money to pay it off. Things seemed bleak. In the corner of the church, I held onto the steel frames that were rusty and prayed, God, why are you abandoning me? You have led me up to this point. But why are you abandoning me now? Where are you, God? I'm in distress. Please say something. Even though I had prayed fervently, God didn't say anything. Eventually, I came to know that the Lord was with me even at that time. The Lord was always with me, but I didn't know it and looked for the Lord by shouting. As I reflect on the past, I realized that God was always with me and whenever I faced difficulties, He helped me by sending His angels. When we face hardships that we cannot handle in life, there are times when we think, where is God? Has He forgotten about me? The psalmist was lonely. He confessed the following. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake, and I have become like a bird alone on a roof. Even when we face difficulties, know that we are not alone. God said, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. No matter what kind of hardships we face, we must look to God who is with us. 1 John 4, 4 says, You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. God who is in us is greater than all forces that stand against us. When soldiers are trained to drop from a high altitude, they jump with a parachute from hundreds of meters above the sky. If they look below them, they are afraid that they can't even move. If they don't look below them and look to mountains that are far away, they can jump boldly. It is the same with our life. There are family problems, business problems, and children problems. Whenever we face various problems in our life, we can't even take a step forward if we look to problems because fear is filled in our heart. 
When this happens, look to, look to our Almighty God. Then we can run vigorously with a bold heart. If we look to God, we can conquer fear and be bold no matter what kind of situations we are in. If you look at David's life, we know that his life was always threatened. In the desert, he was attacked by Saul who chased after him to kill him. In battlefields, he was attacked by numerous enemies. But David believed in God and relied on God and was able to conquer every fear. 2 Samuel 22.30 says, With your help, I can advance against the troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. Even though David's life was threatened every day, he was able to advance against a troop and scale a wall because he relied on God. Deuteronomy 7, 21 says, Do not be terrified by them, for the Lord your God, who is among you, is a great and awesome God. If our Almighty God is with us, we have nothing to fear. We must know that God is taking care of us. Jesus said, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet yet not one of them will fall to the ground. Apart from the will of your Father, and even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. If, if we look at things with the eyes of flesh, we are weak and insecure. But if we look with spiritual eyes, each one of us is important. We have all received redemption with the precious blood of Jesus. God bought us and made us as His children with the precious blood of Jesus, who is more precious than the world. So God protects us and takes care of us. Therefore, we shouldn't think of ourselves without God. Because all of you were bought with the blood of Jesus Christ, you should think about everything in your life with God. You shouldn't just have thoughts of human beings. We must not forget that we are living our life with God. When those that love God are in trouble, God helps them in amazing ways that we could not have imagined. When Elisha prayed to God, God drove out the army of Aram in an amazing way and gave victory to Israel. God struck the army of Aram with blindness and made them go into the city of Samaria, which was the capital of Israel. Elisha made all-out efforts to capture them, and they walked to the capital of their enemies under the guidance of Elisha. How amazing is God's plan? Likewise, there are many times when God's answers come in ways that we have not thought of. When we face difficulties, there's no way out of them. when we think with thoughts of human beings, but God has thousands of ways. Jeremiah 33.3 says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Even if we have no ways, God has amazing ways. Therefore, those who believe in God 
should not be discouraged or fall in despair no matter what kind of crisis they face and pray to God. Those who look for and rely on God and pray will never fail. If we pray to God, He prepares the best things for us. We may only look at things that are in front of us, but God looks at our entire life. God always prepares things that are most beneficial for us. If we look at all things in the heavens and the earth prepared by God, we cannot but be amazed. If we had more oxygen than we have now on earth, the world would have turned into the sea of fire if we turned on gas stove. On the contrary, if we had less oxygen than we have now, we would have faced a big problem of breathing. After God created all things, He has been maintaining the appropriate amount of oxygen in air. Likewise, God's preparation is perfect. It is the same for God's preparation for each one of us. God always prepares the best things for us. As we live our lives, we always face difficulties and hardships. However, if we clearly know that God is with us, we can be more than conquerors when it comes to difficulties and move forward. God said, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Psalm 34, 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear Him, and He delivers them. If we rely on God and pray, He will send His angels to deliver us and help us. I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will live a victorious life every day by thinking, believing, and looking to and confessing about God who is with us.